here. Got me a red wasp colony building up in some of my spare bee equipment. They've been here several months, actually. I uh, was working out here, I don't remember when, over a month ago, maybe two months ago, and I just tossed something over on this pile of boxes, and they flew out. They actually didn't attack me, but you know, I stirred them up, so I was like, oh shoot, I better do something about that. But then, like normal, I forget. But today, I did something about it. And I'm not going to tell you all how, because I don't want people out there knowing how they can very easily kill wasps or bees, especially I don't want people killing bees. And I figure if I'm a beekeeping channel, people might come over here trying to figure out how they can get rid of bees. So, I won't tell you my secret recipe, which is actually extremely easy and safe and probably considerable organic, actually. Oh, but looky there. Uh, yeah, maybe the, um, maybe the remains of my spray there will give it away. I don't know. That's a good-sized nest. I'd say I probably killed 20 or more wasps coming out of it. Um, I'm doing it with my bee suit on just because I just got done checking all the hives. Actually, the wasps, they didn't come at me at all. They didn't attack me at all. Um, but I've got a little pump-up sprayer here. And so I can stand back, you know. Woo! Did y'all get seasick? I can stand back. I'm a good, you know, 8 foot back. 9 foot. 10 foot. See, I can hit them. So, this works really well. I've been killing wasps like crazy around the house. They've been building up under the deck. and Little yellow jacket's been building all down by the by the goat pen. I mean, anywhere they can find somewhere to hang a nest, pretty much, they've been building out here. So I keep my little pump-up sprayer here full of my solution, and um, when I need it, I go get it. But I figured I'd mention that, you know, if you're storing stuff like this, like I do, even if this was in, in a covered carport, now if it was in a sealed shed that the wasps couldn't get in, maybe that'd be fine. But what I'm planning on building out here is just like a pavilion to get the rain off this stuff, and so they're going to keep wanting to build inside of it. Uh, so it's just something to think about and consider, I guess. Um, and for that matter, anywhere, if you've got, you know, outdoor storage, if you've got a little farm or homestead, like I said, anything they can hang up under. I mean, the other day, heck, they were built, um, I've got a little tripod roller extension to use with my miter saw. And I went and grabbed that thing to move it and a bunch of yellow jackets are built up underneath of it. Just this random little roller stand, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. The yellow jackets built under there and one of them got me on the ankle, but I got them back. I think I won that war and that battle, or that battle and that war. So, just figured I'd mention it, you know, look out. They're going to be up underneath stuff. Heck, I see way more wasps out here than I do snakes. Everybody think, oh, you know, you have snakes up underneath all this stuff. Never have seen a snake in a bee yard. Plenty of wasps. But yeah, just figured I'd show that. It's a good sized nest. Happy wasps. I got them. Wasps. I wanted to mention is, before I get somebody out there, and you're going to get it anyway, somebody screaming at me saying I'm just a heartless killer. I only... Um, exterminate or eradicate wasps if they're in the immediate work area where I need to do something. You know, I don't care one bit if they're up in this stack of tires or something like that until I need to move that stack of tires. And actually, I know there is a yellow jacket nest in there. <laughs> or at least there was when I moved them and stacked them there all one night. And they actually didn't attack me when I moved their tires. But <clears throat> I'm actually going to take this in the house too and show it to my kids so I can teach them a little something. There is a wasp larva, and there's more of them in here. You can look down inside the cells. Maybe you guys can see little wasp larvas. And there's some wasp eggs right there, kind of middle of the frame, I think, there. Yeah, there's some a wasp egg, which I've never taken the time to actually look at a wasp nest and study it. Normally, I'd, you know, bomb them and run like crazy. So this is actually really interesting. It's a good learning opportunity. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to mention that. I don't go out and just kill for no reason. They're built up underneath the staircase or something where I've not got nothing going on. That's fine. They can stay. You know, it's like it's like a rat snake. You know, some people are scared of them, want to kill them for no reason. But as far as I'm concerned, they all got a purpose in the world. Wasps go out and actually prey on other insects. So, you know, they're not, and they're pollinators too, to an extent. So like I said, don't kill them for no reason. I only remove them when I have to.